Hi guys, welcome to Adam McCollar TV. I'm Adam. It is the RSC Anderlecht against Manchester United preview. United are in the last eight of the Europa League. How about that then? Is this our best chance of Champions League football next season? Is it? Is the Europa League's Manchester United's best chance of Champions League football next season? That is what we're asking. And is this a bigger game? Then the game against Chelsea on Sunday in the Premier League. Jose Mourinho's former club rock up at Old Trafford on Sunday. Is this a bigger game though? Because of the importance of the of the um, of the Europa League now. We need Champions League football next season. It is so important for Manchester United in terms of our aspirations. We want to be successful both in the league and in Europe. And obviously, being in the Premier European competition is important. But it also helps our league form as well because I hate this Thursday, Sunday stuff. Um, and for that reason, we have to be in the Champions League. Helps us sign players as well. Do you think Griezmann and those kind of players want to come to a club that are in the Europa League? Probably not. So we need to be in that competition. Now we've dropped so many points at home in the Premier League that now the Europa League is looking like our best chance. We've still got away games in the league against Arsenal, Tottenham, Spurs, Southampton, and we still got a few difficult home games as well. So it's not going to be easy in the league, although it is kind of all in our own hands. Because we have that game in hands on Liverpool, and we have the game in hand which would take us just behind Manchester City if we did win it. If we beat Manchester City, we'd be above them. So it is in our own hands, but it is very difficult. So is it easier to win the Europa League? What do you guys think? And I'll tell you about my opinion in a bit. I'm just going to dive in to some of the comments now. We've got 50 people in here at the moment and that number continues to rise as I speak. So thank you all for joining us. Rob got chubbed for this one. I got chubbed as well, but I am heading out there. Um, so fingers crossed um, I can find something out there or um, just find a good pub, have a decent time. I'm sure there'll be a, quite a lot of ticketless Reds over there. Nathan, thank you for getting in the comments. Yuzwan, thank you for getting in the comments. Europe is better than top four because you get a trophy, um, says Denchman Joe, and I totally agree with that as well. Um, Fernando Sanchez, thank you for joining us in, joining in and get liking that video as well. Um, where will you be doing fan cams after the game? I genuinely don't know because I've never done fan cams at the Anderlecht Stadium, preferably it'd be at the away end, but who knows at this moment in time. But keep it locked to, to the Twitter and the Snapchat and stuff, and I'm sure you'll see where we are during the game. Jose Mourinho has just had his press conference. Now, Wayne Rooney did not travel with the Manchester United squad over to Belgium. He's returned to training this week, and Jose Mourinho said he's not fit enough yet. He's still feeling a little bit of pain in his ankle, although he did return to training, and because of that, he's not in the squad, and we'll have to wait and see if he's in the squad for the weekend. Now, what do you guys think United should do with Wayne Rooney? Should we let him go at the end of the season? We very rarely have him fit at this moment in time. He's obviously coming to the back end of his career. He's on massive wages. Could we free up a little bit of the wage bill? Could we... Um, free up a little bit of space in the squad. What do you guys think about that? Or is it important to keep Wayne Rooney because of his experience at Manchester United, the time he's been here, etc, etc. And he is, our, he is our captain after all as well. Um, thank you for getting involved, Ishan. Um, Rooney's going to China, says Nigel. Um, thank you for getting involved, Ben Zohan. Ishan. Um, Pratik, thank you all for getting involved. So yeah, Wayne Rooney did not travel with the squad. Um, he's not in the squad for this game. Who starts for you guys? Who do you think should start? Victor thinks we should sell Wayne Rooney ASAP. Um, do you have a personal Snapchat or FTD account? I have both. Um, I'm Adam McCola and everything Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, etc. Um, and full time devils on Snapchat is FT Devils, but everywhere else is full time devils. Let him go. He has too much talent to be on the bench, says Sam. Um, let Rooney go. He's not playing at all and he must not like that, says Fernando. He has been partly, to, no, well, not partly to blame. You can't blame him for being injured. But he has been injured as well. So it's not just a case of him not being selected. He hasn't been available for selection for a lot of the time, too. Um, Rooney should leave because it's time for another way in Rooney to step up says Denchman Joe, and I do agree with that as well in terms of Manchester United always evolve, 
when we do sell players, um, we always evolve, we always move on. We've moved on from bigger players and we'll continue to do that when Wayne Rooney goes. Um, will Luke Shaw start, says Jack. He did travel and he was in the squad too um, and he was training as well. Um, and I hope he starts. Luke Shaw deserves to start. I thought he played well in the 60 minutes that he did have against Middlesbrough. Got an assist, sorry, against Sunderland. Got an assist as well. Um, and I think he should start this game. Um, whether he does or not, we've got a game on Sunday against Chelsea as well. Could he start that and maybe give this one a miss playing Daily Blind? Who knows? Scott, thank you for getting involved. Um, he thinks United can beat Anderlecht on Thursday night. Um, and the rest of it was about Fellaini, but the comments have moved on very quickly. The next United Road podcast will be next week. Um, now, Jose was asked about David De Gea. I seen the question from Brian relating to David De Gea. Now, Jose Mourinho was asked about David De Gea in his press conference today. And he said he demands focus um, on and commitment to Manchester United for the remainder of the season. And he says he's got no reason to be questioning David De Gea's focus or commitment. But that any, any issues or any transfer problems will be sorted out in the summer. Now, I've got a feeling David De Gea will leave. Um, but I would love for us to keep hold of him. And if Jose Mourinho can do do that, happy days. Now, obviously, part of your question, Brian, was about Tony Cruz. And you hear about um, Ed Woodward kind of toughening up his stance and saying, we don't want money. What can United do with money? We've got money as it is. Um, and demanding that we get a player, someone like Tony Cruz. Now, that would be ideal. But when do you ever hear these swap deals going down? They very, very rarely happen. So they're unlikely to happen. But of course... It would be nice if, in a sweetener for a deal, we did get one of their better players. But I wouldn't mind keeping him as well. But I am kind of resigned to the fact that David De Gea is leaving Manchester United. Whether it's this summer, next summer, I'm resigned to the fact that he'll eventually leave. Now, who do we replace him with? Um, Sergio Romero has been a fantastic backup for him. But I think in terms of having him as a number one keeper, I have my doubts about that. Um, I think Joel Pereira has got fantastic talent. But if David De Gea was to leave in this summer, then it's probably too early for Joel Pereira. There's been talks about Donna Rummer. He'd cost a lot of money, um, although I think with his agent, um, that could happen. Um, Hugo Lloris is another one. You heard about him hankering for a move to Manchester United when Dave seemingly was going to um, Real Madrid as well. But then again, Spurs are in a fantastic position at the moment. They don't need to sell their best players. Um, so it's an interesting one. Who would replace him? But I'd rather not think about that right now. And like Jose Mourinho says, focus on that in the summer. Um, our Black says Alberto. Leno says Cynthia. We'll all have our different opinions. But I tell you something, what's really disappointing is no matter who we get in, they're not better than David De Gea. For me, David De Gea is the best goalkeeper in the world. And when he does leave, I'll be really, really disappointed. But wouldn't be surprised at all. Uh, Sam thinks we should give Romero the chance, as does Witness 1987. Um, as for Anderlecht, who do you guys fear the most from Anderlecht? Obviously, their main man, Teo Dorchik. Teo Dorchik. Teo Dorchik, that's how you say it. Teo Dorchik has got 28 goals. The same amount as Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Is he the main man? He was rumoured to be missing this game with an injury, but he is fit. Um, is, is believed to be fit for this match. So he will be in the squad. And that will be a boost for them. Um, they're top of the league in Belgium at the moment. They've only lost one game in Europe. They um, had a qualifier in the Champions League. Um, but then they've had, obviously, they dropped into the Europa League. They've had five or six games at home. And they've only lost once, uh, winning the rest. That was against San Etienne. So if they're leaves, losing against San Etienne at home, a team that we comfortably beat, that kind of tells you what kind of team we're playing. But they are a good team. They're used to winning. Um, Tealsmans is a fantastic player as well. I've seen a few of you mentioning him in the comments. He's a good, talented player. But in my opinion, coming up against this uh, Anderlecht side. Now, the last time United went to Anderlecht in 2000, 2001, I think it was. We beat them 5-0 or something at home. And we lost 2-1 away. Dennis Irwin scored and they won that game. But um, regardless of the threats that they do have, Tealsman's, Teo Dorchik. Um, regardless of the threats they do have, this is a team that Manchester United should be beating. Every team in this competition is a team that Manchester United could be beating. But as I was going to say earlier in regards to top four Europa League, I'm so disappointed in the points that we've dropped 
at home in the Premier League because I felt the Premier League was an easier way through. Anything can happen in a cup competition. Anything can happen in a one-off game. Anything can happen in a final. Um, so we need to be aware of that. Imagine, just imagine United lost tomorrow and then we go home at Old Trafford, 1-0 down on aggregate. But we're confident we can get through because, yeah, why can't we score two or three goals against these at home? But then we fail to. Can you imagine that happening again? And it's just relying on a cup competition to get Champions League football for me is very dangerous. Um, but as I say, it's still alive in the Premier League. But we've shot ourselves in the foot with all these draws, man. Um, they haven't been good at all. Um, and they, they really could cost us come the end of the season if we don't win this Europa League. Um, but I'm looking forward to this game overall, guys. And um, what do you guys think the score will be um, for tomorrow? I'm going for a 2-0 win. I think Zlatan will score. And I'm going for Mkhitaryan to continue his impressive scoring form. Um, he scored a few away from home in uh, Europe as well. I think he scored against Zoya. Did he score against uh, Rostov? Sanitian. Scored against few, uh, he scored a few goals, hasn't he? But I know he scored a few on the road. Um, in the Europa League and I would like him I think he will score again tomorrow in a 2-0 win for United but anything can happen and as I say Anderlecht with their fans behind them it's a small ground they'll be they'll be up for this tomorrow top of their league used to winning games they'll be on it to win this game so we have to be very very wary of that by the way guys if you're not subscribed to Adam Matt Kohler TV then please hit that like button right now and hit that subscribe button rather um, if you're not subscribing, hit that like button. That ain't helping, but subscribe to Adam Matt Collar TV. We're very close to 30,000 subs. Fernando thinks it's going to be 3 1. Chattanooga thinks it's going to be 3 0. Subic thinks it's going to be 2 0. 1 1 says true story. Marshall Bray says Nigel. Nought 2 United. Um, sorry, it's moved on. Kendali says 4 0. Uh, 3 1 with the Tillsman consolation says Luke. And maybe a draw says Nigel. Uh, 10,000 0 to United says Chattanooga. So. He's changed his scoreline now and he's feeling a bit more confident. Crazy that. We'd have to score a goal better than every second. It's not happening, mate. Bit too optimistic, optimistic I'm thinking. Clean sheet at all costs tomorrow, says Gary. If we keep a clean sheet tomorrow, regardless of what the score is, and we keep a clean sheet, um, I'd feel really confident of us going through to the semi-finals. Um, the team I'd start tomorrow... Let me just have a drink. The team I'd start tomorrow would be, we already know Romero is going to start. So Romero in goal. Then I'd go with Valencia, Luke Shaw, Bailey, Rojo. I'd rest Carrick for the game against Chelsea and play Herrera, Fellaini, Pogba with Mickey, Marshall and Zlatan. What do you guys think to that? And I only want to see Mickey, Marshall and Zlatan play. Because I want to see him play on Sunday. And Jose very rarely changes his team up too much. So I think if they start this game and they do well, they'll start that game on Sunday. What do you guys think? Get your comments in below. Um, and make sure you subscribe to Adam Matt Collar TV. I'm off to Belgium very early in the morning. Um, so we're leaving out on Thursday. Um, we're getting there for around midday, I think. Head to the hotel. Get freshened up. Head out, get to the ground. I think the game kicks off 8 p.m. in the UK, 9 p.m. over there. So it's a little bit of a later kickoff. Watch the game, do fan cams. Hopefully, United will win. I'm going for a 2 0 win. I think Zlatan Ibrahimovic may score in this game. Um, he's scoring everywhere else, isn't he? And could he hit that number 30 this week? He's on 28 goals at the moment. We've got two games this week and the left and Chelsea. Will he reach 30? I'm saying. He will. A goal tomorrow against Anderlecht and a goal against Chelsea. And hopefully two United wins. Can it happen? Guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Like, comment and share. I've been Adam McCola. This has been Full Time Devils. No, it hasn't. It's been Adam McCola TV. What am I talking about? I'm always in Full Time Devils mode. Bloody hell. Anyway, subscribe to both. Like, comment and share. I'm out of here.